It's a privilege for me to be here uh, together with the architects of uh, new life. Well, I think that was a brilliant idea um, to have um, youngsters here at the conference, as listeners. Usually we uh, listen to each other, which is also very important. But anyway, when uh, um, young people listen to us, it means that uh, we are interesting and it's kind of a test. It means it's, it's worthy. But um, I get the impression that um, these people, this, uh, our listeners, they were a little bit shy. Um, or, or maybe they were not shy, but uh, which is much worse. Uh, they were arrogant and they maybe spared us because they did not have some um, how, um, tough questions to us. But still, um, uh, preceding form, um, Tolstoy's words, uh, who uh, you quoted that, that uh, each uh, family, unhappy family, is unhappy in, their, in its way. Um, I can say that, uh, of course, uh, all these countries who came from the same system, uh, they are um, unhappy in a different way. But at the same time, uh, there are a lot of uh, similarities, of course. And uh, our panel was very interesting. Uh, we talked about our failures, our achievements, uh, our transition to uh, market economy, how painful was that, and combating corruption, combating crime and things like that. And uh, of course I talked about my country, uh, which is Georgia, uh, as a success story, uh, of course, uh, but I can say that if not young generation, which came to power in 2003, nothing could happen in my country. Because those people, they were completely different. Of course, they were idealists, idealists, dreamers, but they did uh, something that my generation never could uh, do, um, unfortunately. Why? Because um, these people, they are not afraid of Russia. They are not afraid of Russia. This is very important because everybody knows that key factor in our region is, of course, Russia. And uh, they don't tolerate corruption. They don't tolerate unfair elections. They don't tolerate unfair competition in each level. And uh, they don't tolerate, of course, restrictions of media. Everything is completely new for us, and that is very important. I like that we talked a lot about education there and what kind of education we need today. Of course, to preserve uh, experience which exists, but at the same time, some new uh, education which meets, uh, meets um, re requirement of the present time, of, the, of current time, uh, that, that's what is needed. And um, to some extent, um, we uh, have some achievement in my country because we had um, uh, reforms in education. And, uh, but uh, of course, uh, it has advantage and disadvantage because uh, mostly um, uh, young people are, uh, uh, they work. Mostly they work and uh, well, we had a lot of courses for, for uh, each people uh, is coming now this uh, um, uh, balance uh, between generations, but still uh, there is uh, some, uh, there are some problems between generations. But I think for this transition time, it's normal. It's normal. And um, also, I, I can say that uh, uh, the representative of Germany talked here about some common problems which we have to consider. Of course, I appreciate his uh, intention to consider all these problems, everybody and things like that. But while we uh, talk here, while we have a conference here, uh, we, of course, everybody remembers that there is war in Ukraine, that right now Russia is being annexed my own country. So, the, and, uh, all um, these people in this country, they also need our support. Thank you.